Hello and welcome back to OmniFoot TV for the third video of the day. And it's going to be me basically reacting to Chelsea's draw against Bournemouth at the Vitality Stadium yesterday. I tried to hold off on this primarily because I'm at odds with this club and myself. There is a level of apathy that has found its way into the Chelsea fan base. The fan base seems discouraged, depressed, demotivated. And seeing them lament in such a way, it kind of puts me off because I'm usually very optimistic about where the club is going, what we're doing, and how we're presenting ourselves. But we've had a difficult start to the season, as a lot of clubs can have that, you know, no matter how well or how badly they play. Well, if you play badly, you're always going to have a difficult start to any season, and you're probably not going to be able to pull yourself back up. But hey, we're talking about this, aren't we? The only constant that we have been able to put together is possession. And I've made this clear on my channel multiple times. I despise possession football with every fiber of my being. I am a firm believer in doing the best you can with the ball as soon as you get it. But if you can keep something and use it for too long without any kind of potency or threat, you take it for granted, you lose it, and you have to deal with the onslaught of momentum that ends up coming your way. That isn't just in football, that is in life. And in that respect, football does imitate life in multiple ways. Because it is never about the chances you get, it is always about the chances you take. I care about the result. I don't care about how we get it, primarily, despite my distaste of position football. But we can't seem to be getting any kind of results. Everyone's frustrated. Everyone's complaining. We have switched an entire squad of players in a season, in one summer, or over particularly a year almost. But the shift, the gradual shift, obviously took place this past summer. We were given glimpses of an improvement of chemistry, of focus and drive in preseason. Usually preseason isn't anything, well, you can't really take anything from it. It's not, it isn't anything important. It isn't consequential to anything. But again, we were given hopes. We were optimistic. We thought to ourselves, okay, let's do this. Let's start the season off. Let's see this setup work in an official basis, or on an official basis. And it seems as though we were duped a little, because the way Poch approached the games was different. The players are fit, but they seem to be gassed later on in the game every week, despite the fact that we only play once a week. I don't know what that means, but it's been a minor observation of mine. And, obviously, our main problem is that we can't score goals. Not to mention that it seems as though Poch hasn't really figured out his best 11. Mind you, we have close to 10 injuries on our list. I've lost track. We're dealing with issues outside the pitch, which shouldn't really affect anything going on when the game starts. But... The past couple of years have been weird as a Chelsea fan. From fearing possible liquidation, to the sale of the club to American owners, to finishing the lowest place the club has seemingly ever finished in, in Premier League history, to watching players lose passion for everything they've done, become completely despondent in the face of imminent relegation, which is definitely the hardest thing I've ever had to see as a Chelsea fan. And then... We come to this season where we were given all this hope and people started to think, hey, we might actually win the league. And I have no idea where that came from, but I was in a part of that wave. I've watched other fans react. They think it's pathetic. They think how we're playing is pathetic. I really don't care about how we end up playing for the rest of the season. I care about finding a proper 11 and getting results. I don't believe in possession-based football. I've made that clear multiple times. But I do believe in doing the best we can to actually get the results we need. 
we are not in a position where the school of thought that whatever manager is going to come in with needs to be implemented in a tactical basis or on a tactical basis. Again, I don't believe we're in that kind of position. We're not a ready-made team that just needs to flourish in a way that requires us to raise our game to a certain level if we can't adapt to the circumstances. We need to adapt to the circumstances and figure out how to fix things. Making new mistakes every week, that's frustrating. At least they're new. But making the same ones, that's what I don't tolerate. That's what none, not a single fan, that is what, this is something that no Chelsea fan is going to be able to tolerate because this is the Premier League. If you're not playing in the Sunday League, you're not playing in the Championship, you're not playing in La Liga, you're not playing in Serie A. All due respect to La Liga and Serie A because they operate differently. The intensity, the physicality, the focus, things are different in England. That has always been the point. That point has always been made. And we need to figure out where our foundations are. That is up to the manager next week because this week, this week was basically a joke. Players and managers. It wasn't that we played horribly. It's that we, it's that we still seem to have the same problems. And in that respect, things can become very static or static very quickly. I don't want to have to see that for too long. I don't want to have to talk about it for too long. Sure, the players don't seem as despondent. They're trying. We're creating chances. We keep the ball. But we're not as... We don't have that killer instinct. We're not as focused. When we lose focus, we really lose it. Things get really bad. And as soon as we switch off, I remember Bournemouth had a chance simply because our defense switched off and it was a cross coming down from the right side. The whole back line basically lost focus and Bournemouth could have easily scored the winning goal. I look at the way the West, I, I, I will look at the way that West Ham played against us in that 3 1 win of theirs as the way we should be playing against other teams. What West Ham did against us has become, that game has become a core memory to me. Because we played in a, in a way that I've always despised. And West Ham did exactly what we should have been doing from the start of the season. Adapting to circumstance, taking the chances that we need to take, being clinical, and defending in a disciplined manner. That is all we need to do. We need to harden ourselves up and things need to change. If Moises West Ham can do that against us, and then why can't we do it against other teams? Why can't we take that, learn from it, and implement it? Because that's the only way we're ever going to find chemistry, in my opinion. I don't know what we're doing right now. I hope Poch does, because I don't. Again, I'm still going to be optimistic. I'm still going to tune into our games. I still think we can do a lot this season. It's not about how you start, it's how you finish. That will always be the case. But this has been painful to watch. By no means as painful as last season, but it has still been painful to watch. And that's all I have to say. If you agree with anything I've said or disagree, the comment section is open for discourse. Please like the video if you've enjoyed what I've had to say. And hit that bell notifications button to be high, to get notified whenever we post on a daily basis. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and thank you once again for tuning in. Ah, this has been a painful video to make. I will see you all next time. Whistle blows.